everyone, Kathy Grady. Thank you for joining us today uh, for Living History. We're going to talk to people who've lived through a lot of history in Longmeadow. And we're so pleased today that we have Russ Hoxtra with us because he's lived in Longmeadow a long time, seen a lot of history. Thank you for coming, Russ. You're I'm really very glad welcome. you're here. Glad to be here. Now, when did you come to Longmeadow and why? Well, I was born in Michigan, and my mother met my father in Michigan, and I was born in a year later. They moved to Springfield in 1920. Why? Well, my grandfather was a machinist. He came from Vermont. Oh, that's right. And they moved to Springfield. and uh, Springfield, because of the armory, drew machinists from yeah, all over. Yeah, that's where he found work. And in 1922, they bought a house, and we moved to Longmeadow, 26 Circle Road. And you were a wee child. And I was, I had two brothers, not at that point, but uh, in 1919, I had my brother Richard. And in 1922, when we moved to Longmeadow, I had my brother Donald. They're both living, one in Florida and one in Connecticut. Uh-huh. And uh, when I moved to Longmeadow then, I was in grammar school. I had been in the second grade in Springfield, but when I moved to Longmeadow, they put me into the third grade at Norway Street School, which is just down the street from where we are right now. Right, and it's now the Willie Ross School. That's now the Willie now, where's Ross School circle? for the Deaf. Is that what yes. you said, sir? Where's that? That's way back, and uh, there weren't... No, Circle Street or Road? Circle Road. And where is that? That's off Lincoln Park. Oh, okay, which I know is just the, where it is. Lincoln Park is one street north of Maple Road, where right. we are now. And, uh, so this is sort of a little section of Long Meadow here between Hillside Terrace Mm -hmm. and Nevins Avenue is a, a sort of a crest between two hills. Uh -huh. Gates Hill to the north, where the Long Meadow Brook runs underneath the... the uh, I didn't know that hill had a name, Gates Hill. Uh, Long, it's a Long Meadow Brook. Its source is the pond on the Long Meadow Country Club. Right. And that comes on and, and to, to the river from there. Uh, so we, you went to Norway School. I went to Norway Street which School. Which is a small school. Uh, pardon? It was a small school, yeah, right? Yeah. That was uh, uh, one to, grades one to six. Mm -hmm. uh, they had uh, four teachers there. There was Marjorie Skiff and Miss Powers and Miss Jones. And I think there was one other that I can't remember. You could remember three out of four. <laughs> That's very not, good. Not too, not too bad. <laughs> not too bad. I think uh, we already heard about Miss Powers a little bit. Yeah, well, Miss Powers had a retirement party not too long ago. Really? And she got more kisses from the boys because she used to punish them by kissing them. <laughs> That's what I heard. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> and it was a punishment? That was, that was supposed to be an embarrassment, an embarrassment. To, to the boys to have Miss Powers kiss them. Did she ever kiss you? I don't think so. I was pretty well behaved. Oh, good. <clears throat> uh, we used to summertimes walk from Circle Road to Pine Point Lake in Connecticut. Now, that's about five miles. But uh, when we were young, five miles walk was nothing. And Not a bike, just walking? We walked. And uh, the roads from here to Point Point Lake were all sand ruts. No pavement at all. But we would go out there and swim and fish, and take a lunch with us, and then one of our friend's dad was come by in his Model T Ford <laughs> and bring us home again. Well, that was nice. You didn't have to walk home. Uh, we, uh, we had a great time growing up. I remember on uh, uh, <clears throat> Maple Road, there were 
few houses. Uh, in this part of town, it was sort of little Italy. I had a lot of good Italian friends, the Vicciarelli family, the Gadetti family, the Manzies, the Calabrese's, the all good friends. And But right here where we are now was the end of the pavement. And from here on out east was all sand roads. And they had a pig farm a not pig too farm. far from here at the time. Down down Maple Road? Yes. Where? Yeah, uh, east, uh, east of here. Uh-huh. And uh, so we had a great fun growing up. We made our own fun. Right. Uh, My mother always said that, make your own fun. The Harwoods lived on the corner of uh, uh, Maple and Lincoln Park. And we had a baseball field right behind their house. And we had what are now two houses in there that uh, we play baseball every spring. We look forward to that. It used to be your field. Yeah. And the Long Little Brook furnished a lot of entertainment for young people. We'd fish and swim and to try to dam the brook up a little bit to make a pool we could swim in. Right. Winter times were great fun. We had snow most every winter, not like we had this year. Not here. that much. <laughs> but uh, so we would have the hillside terrace, which is now second growth woods, it was a hay field at that time. Oh. And it was kept down, so that was our sliding hill. And uh, a bit of sliding hill you couldn't find anywhere. It, all winter long, you'd see kids with their sleds on that hill. Huh. And that was just across the dingle from where I lived on Circle Road. Right. And uh, we had electric trolley cars. Oh, yes, up and down Long Meadow Street, right? Up and down Long Meadow Street. We had double tracks from just south of Maple Road to Springfield. In the south from uh, Maple Road, they had a single track that went to the state line where they would switch the trolleys. That was the end of the end of the line. And, but uh, there weren't trolleys in Connecticut? Well, we didn't go into Connecticut. We stopped at the state line. Uh -huh. And Sharkey's had an emporium there where you could get... Uh, ice cream, hot dogs, and so forth. And there was a little uh, community, sort of, at the state line. And the trolleys would uh, change the seats and change the trolley and go back to Springfield. Right, they switched the seats. Yeah. So if you wanted to go to Springfield any time, you could get a trolley about every half hour. Oh, wow. And if you wanted to go to a movie at night in Springfield, you could because the trolleys ran till after 11 o'clock at night. So that was very convenient. Down to Vernon Street, eh? And uh, well, there was so, such a good place to grow up. We had many friends, we had many activities, and uh, we had the woods in the, in the brook and yeah. all of these things, we made our own fun. Right. We didn't have any organized little leagues or things of that kind at the time. And a lot of people had their own gardens, right? We had a garden. We, and we, Grew we, vegetables. We, we raised vegetables and uh, we raised uh, chickens. We chickens? Had, we had our own eggs and uh, uh, the, the garden we planted every year, and it was very good. The, the soil is very clay-like and holds moisture. Oh. Uh, our street, Circle Road, was not paved. Neither was Long Meadow Street paved from the top of Gates Hill to the state line. It was not paved? Not when we first moved here, and they finally did pave it, with cement, uh, oh. cement uh, pavement. Uh, another thing that's very interesting was part of our growing up was a dairy farm 
Oscar Pomeroy. Oh, Mr. Pomeroy. Just yeah. south of here had a herd of uh, dairy cattle, Holsteins, in the big area for pasture. It's now all grown again with second growth. And his... And that's also where the community garden is. Isn't that part of the Pomeroy? Uh, I think they did at one time. I think that was later, though. Oh, much later, much later. Yeah, but uh, the, uh, the the pasture, of course, the cows kept the grass mowed, uh, <laughs> and his kids we used to play golf in the pasture. Oh, you did. And his brother Andrew Pomeroy lived near the top of Gates Hill, and he processed and delivered milk in glass bottles, of course. The, the old glass bottle of milk we don't see anymore. No. And uh, then across the street from Lincoln Park, there was another large farm. And uh, Oscar used to hire that pasture land now and then. Uh, when I was about 15 years old, uh, I was introduced to Frank B. Allen, who was for many years a selectman uh -huh. in Law Meadow. Frank Smith at the time was town clerk, treasurer, and tax collector. For a very long time, but, yes. You know, Frank, uh, Frank uh, Allen had a heart condition and was not supposed to drive. And although I was only 15, I could drive with somebody in the car with me, and he hired me to chauffeur him around town on town business. How lucky is that? And much of the time we spent with uh, Frank, uh, Frank Smith. And at the same time, the church on the green was being renovated. So I had uh, right. quite a lot of experience just driving Mr. Allen around and seeing what was going on in the town. Do you remember what kind of car it was? Yes, it was a 1931 Ford Victoria uh, four-door sedan. I knew you'd remember. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the kind of thing you forget? <laughs> uh, but, uh, that wasn't the community house being built. like in the, the community house was there when, when I moved here. We used to have movies there. Oh, yes. And uh, Mrs. Brandt was uh, in charge, and the cacophony of the kids in there <laughs> waiting for the movie to start. Mrs. Brandt would clap her hands for silence, but she never got it. <laughs> <laughs> they were silent movies. They had serials oh, silent movies. and news and so forth. Silent I, news? I think it cost a whole dime to go to that movie. Really? But uh, we walked from here to there. We Walking was no problem at that age. And uh, uh, the time we spent in the meadows, at that time there were hay fields and gardens, truck gardens, uh, big fields of winter squash and so forth, and a lot of little ponds where, where muskrats abounded. Uh -huh. And in the winter time, they would freeze over and make the most wonderful hockey rinks you could imagine. Oh, great! So we spent a lot of time in the winter in the meadows with our skates and your hockey stick. So with our hockey skates. <laughs> so there were so many, many things that we could do in the winter time. Uh, then, uh, when you I know, was, it's so interesting to hear how much you enjoyed Long Meadow. Oh, I did. We did. 